Now let's talk about the third type of collection that we have got in Apex, which is the last one. Yeah, fortunately, unfortunately, which is called as MAP. And in MAP, we not only store a single value, we store two values. And these are yeah, two values or two things where the value is associated with a particular key, where the key is unique and the value is non-unique. Let me explain it to you with the help of a simple diagram. So uh, in MAP, you store two things, right? Number one is key. And number two is value. Where key is unique and value is not unique. Getting it? So whenever you store a particular value in a map, you store it with the key and the value. Let me uh, like take a simple example to uh, like explain it to you uh, over here. So what you want to do is there is a class and to every student you have assigned a role number. So what you want to do is you want to store their name but with their roll number. So name can be same but the roll numbers will be unique. They will definitely be unique. So in that case the key will be their roll number and the value will be their name. So imagine there are two students in a single class whose name is John. So and like but they, they, ha they have different roll numbers. So those different roll numbers are obviously they are different so they are unique but we are storing the same value onto different different keys or different different role numbers. So this is the place where we need to use a map as a collection where we want to store a value but associated with a key where value can be duplicate or value is non-unique and the key is unique. So if you've got uh, multiple students with different different role numbers in your class so uh, how you're gonna store it in map is so you're gonna first write down the uh, role number like one and on one you've got uh, like Ajay I would say on two, you have got a Vijay, and then you've got a three, where you've got a what? Who? Like Ajay, Vijay, Sanjay. Your, your call, it's your call. What do you want to store? It, like values can be uh, yeah, non unique or duplicate, whatever. But now, if you'll try to store, uh, like on like um, I mean if you'll try to store some value on the same key which is already available the value will get overridden so this is how is it basically works so like if you if you'll try to store uh, yeah aman on like two roll number or two as a key so in that case what will happen the value which is there on two will be overridden by the value uh, aman which is the new name that, that we are storing that or that we want to store into this particular map with the key 2. So that's uh, yeah how basically your map works. And this is how it works in every programming language, let me tell you. But in Apex, you have to declare it in a different way, use it in a different way and there are different methods as well. So let's, uh, without wasting any further time, let's jump into our program or into our developer console and understand the syntax uh, that we use to create a map or to use a map. So yeah. Hey, you got the syntax. So to create a map, what you need to do is you first need to write down map because map is basically a class in Apex as list and as set. And after that, inside the angular brackets, if you can see there are two values that we are passing in here. One is data type for the key and after uh, like data type of key comma, we are writing down data type of value. So as we are storing different in like two type, two information or two elements inside a map, we need to define the data type of both of them, right? So data type of key first and then separated by a comma, the data type of the value. So in the earlier case where we were storing roll number and uh, this name, we need to write down the data type of roll number, which is basically integer. And we need to write down the data type of the value, which is basically string because we were storing the name over there. So the map should have angular brackets and then first the data type of the key and after comma you have to write down the data type of the value that you want to store with that particular key. So with a string in our case. And after declaring this you have to uh, like write down the name of the reference variable which is going to refer this particular map. And then again you have to write down new map then angular brackets, yeah, angular brackets, data type key, comma, data type value, angular brackets, parenthesis open, parenthesis close semicolon and it's done yeah so it's gonna create a map 
so this this right hand side is going to create a map we have already got this map over here and it's going to assign this map to this m map variable so there is a reference variable which is missing in here uh, which is m oh, oops which is m map and we're going to assign the reference of this into this m map reference variable this is how it basically works but there are two things that you uh, have to understand very well the data type of the key can be primitive only i'll repeat it once again the data type of the key can be primitive only it cannot be any class type or any s object or any other thing except primitive data types and let me recall what primitive exactly is integer long double date date time yeah boolean string id these are the primitive data types and if you forgot what primitive data types are then i have created a video of primitive data type data types so have a look at that video and then come back to this video once again so yeah data type of the key can only be primitive but the data type of the value can be literally anything primitive it can be primitive as well uh, it can be any of uh, of any class type it can be any s object it can be yeah anything apex objects or it can be other collections as well and what i mean by that uh, i'm not going to explain it to you right now you have to figure it out so what uh, not exactly figure it out but uh, yeah that's what we are going to discuss later on in our course so wait for that okay so now let's talk about uh, how we can create and initialize a map in apex so uh, here is a simple program that i've written over here in which i'm storing a uh, integer as a key and value as string so or string as a value so to create a map uh, again what we'll write down map and inside angular brackets we'll first write down the data type of the key which is integer in this case and then the data type of the value which is string and then m map new map integer string parenthesis open parenthesis closed that's it this is how we'll write it down and now you must be wondering that how we can add uh, the values inside a map when we are storing two values over there no problem so there is a method for that and that is put so with the help of put method we can put a value onto that particular index inside the map and how it works let me explain it to you so i have written down mmap.put11 comma jack so the first parameter or the other thing like the value that you pass as a first parameter uh, is the key and after comma you are passing down uh, like the value that you want to store as a value with it so when I, when this statement will get executed mmap.put 11 comma jack what will happen in this uh, yeah in this set is let me uh, create a simple yeah so this set is empty right now imagine that and when we'll execute mmap.put 11 jack 11 will be stored can be stored anywhere so because the again in map also the elements are not stored in an ordered format or they, the elements are stored in an unordered format so it can be stored it can be stored anywhere in the set so 11 and then jack will be stored like this simple and when we'll execute 21 john it will store 21 over here or anywhere and then we'll store john and uh, when we'll execute mmap.put 33 comma ron so it can put 33 in here and then ron it's as simple as that so yeah and uh, when we'll debug this mmap or uh, reference variable it's going to show the output to us like this curly braces and first the key and after the key there is equals to and the like angular bracket right angular bracket or you can say the, uh, like equals to and right angular bracket makes an arrow right so with this key we have got this value with this key we have got this value with this key we have got this value so with 11 we have got jack as a value with 21 we've got john as a value and with 32 or yeah, 33 it is we've got ron as a value so it's that simple and then if we'll try to uh, put like joy as a value on 11 so 11 is already there right in this particular set but the value this time is different it is joy and earlier we stored jack at the place of 11 or with the key 11 so now what will happen is the jack value which is stored onto the index 11 will be overridden and uh, like the new value will be stored over here which is joy 
that's it that that's how simple it is i think i've used set sometimes uh, while I, will, I was referring to this map so if you think that i was uh, like talking about a set it's not true i was storing all of these values into a set so yeah uh, i'm storing like this 11 jack 11 uh, 21 john and 33 ron inside a map not into a set we are discussing map in here similar to list and set uh, maps also have uh, like different syntax to create it and add the values or put the values simultaneously while we are creating that particular map and let's see what this is so first we on the left hand side it's say map integer comma string so on the key we want to store integers uh, whereas in values we want to store string and m1 as a reference variable and after equals to we have to uh, write down what so we have to again write down new map integer comma string where integer is again the data type of the key and string is again the data type of the value that we want to store over here and after this angular bracket we are not writing down parenthesis open parenthesis close we are writing down curly brace open and then the values that you want to store into this particular map so let me tell you how you need to write down the values uh, which you will store into this particular map so in set and list we just uh, separated the values uh, with comma because over there we were only storing the values but in here we are storing the keys with the values so how are we going to do that like which one will be considered as a key and which one will be considered as a value that's the like major point of discussion over here so it's simple what you have to do is you have to write it down in this format so this uh, this complete statement or this yeah this portion which i have highlighted over here or over here i don't know where it is yeah but uh the, over here one is the key and after one i've written down equals to an arrow which defines that one is the key and at one key we are storing the value which is after it which is dustin over here so this one is the key and dustin is a value which we are storing into this particular map and after that uh like we'll separate another value or another key value pair with a comma and then we'll write down two equals to arrow and then the value which you want to store at the key two so it's it's simple like that it's as simple as like that it's as simple as that so this is gonna create a map first put the values inside it first and then it's gonna assign it to the reference variable which we have created over here 